Okay, so I'm gonna hurry up and talk about um, our appointment today. Maybe I'll just do this in a separate video so it's not so long. Um, so last night I was, um, I didn't sleep as good because I feel like I had like some subconscious um, anxiety over this appointment just because um, I was 12 weeks when I miscarried my last pregnancy and obviously that pregnancy started out not normal at all. I had no symptoms at all the whole pregnancy, like not even one symptom. I had no symptoms the whole entire pregnancy and when we went to like, I don't remember what appointment, we didn't hear the heartbeat, which was kind of weird because we had heard Bravas at that point, but we didn't really think anything of it. <laughs> go eat your, go get your Froot Loops. <laughs> So, um, anyways, we didn't think anything of it, but, um, I don't know, I guess we kind of thought something was going on, and, um, I was 12 weeks when we actually decided to go to the ER, because I had been spotting for over a week, and my doctor said that was normal, so we decided to go to the ER, and that's when we found out that I miscarried, but the, um, what they did find in the ultrasound was a six-week sac, so I had miscarried, like, a long time ago. So, I don't know if there was ever an actual baby in there and it just got absorbed and we were seeing the last bit of it in the ultrasound or if my body just, you know, made a sack and, you know, kept continuing to think it was pregnant. I don't really know all the stuff about it. But anyways, we were 12 weeks, so today was kind of like, I think a little bit stressful for both of us because I'm 12 weeks exactly today, so we were really hoping that we would hear the heartbeat. And I slept really bad last night. I was having dreams about this appointment. Yeah, so anyways, we were just really nervous about today. So right when we get to the appointment, I had to pee in a cup, which I can barely get to pee out. I wish you guys could see her right now. <laughs> She's so silly. She's going like this. Looking at the camera, looking at mama in the camera. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so anyways, I went, I could barely pee in a cup, and then she did my blood pressure, which was fine. Um, she weighed me, and I had lost like a pound according to their scale. Um, and then we went in and waited and talked to the doctor for a little bit about like how much weight I should gain. And basically she said 15 to 20 pounds or something like that. So we'll see. I'm going to try and do good and not gain so much weight this pregnancy. Anyways, then she got the Doppler out and I got footage of that. So I'll do a separate video showing all that. Um, and as soon as she put it on my stomach, we heard the heartbeat, which was amazing because <laughs> with Brava, um, <laughs> you are a freak. <laughs> Anyways, with Brava, it always took them kind of a minute to. Brava, go get your cereal. Can you get me some cereal? With Brava, it always took them a couple minutes to find her heartbeat because she was like always hiding and yeah, it was always kind of stressful with her and then also like when we'd have ultrasound, she'd always be hiding like in my hip so we could never get good pictures of her. But like as soon as the Doppler was on my stomach, you could hear the heartbeat which was 140 beats per minute. Um, and then after that, we got like a long... We got a lot of footage for that. Like, I'm happy with how much we got because she let us listen for a bit. Um, and then after that, they asked if I wanted to do the um, testing to see if our baby had um, Down syndrome. And we're not going to because either way, we're going to keep the baby. So I have that stress of, you know, knowing the whole time. And a lot of people get false positive. So we're just not going to do it. Um, but I was supposed to get blood drawn. So now they do it in that office. They used to not, they would send you to um, some diagnostic center to get it done. Well, I have always had problems with my doctors finding my veins, always. When I got my IV done, when I had Brava, that hurt more than getting my epidural done because they kept poking, 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 poking in my hand. Finally found it. It hurt really bad too. Um, 
So she tried finding it in my arm. She or she got some, but she didn't fill up the whole little vial thing. So then she tried my left arm. She couldn't even find a vein. And so she was like, "Well, I can try it in this spot, but um, you can go to a, to another place to get it done." So I was like, "I'll just go to the other place because I don't want her to keep poking me if she's not gonna be able to do it." So she was really sweet, but I don't think they're like as trained as at the um, diagnostic center. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. So, um, we're probably gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna try and drink a lot of water so I can get that done. And that's just to check for like, um, if I'm anemic and all that stuff. So, I'm a little bit nervous about that because I just always get a little squeamish around like blood and stuff. So, um, yeah, we did that. And then I just set up my appointment, which is gonna be August 27th. And yeah, so I'm just really happy that the appointment went good because like I said, we were kind of stressing about it. So it was really exciting to hear the heartbeat. And um, yeah, so also now I'm like wondering if like if we might be having a boy just because Brava was always so hard to find and her heart rate was always way higher. So um, I'm wondering if we're having a boy, but I'm gonna stick with girl, but yeah. So I think I, I just, I feel like I just rambled because Brave is here being loud. But yeah, I just want to talk about that because if you've had a miscarriage before, you know that it can be kind of stressful. But I'm totally relieved and happy that we got to hear the heartbeat. And yeah, I'll upload that footage. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys later. Bye.